Hello again, this is Jennifer Waymark, Archivist for the Oshawa Museum. Thank you for joining me once again for this monthly podcast. This June will mark the 100th anniversary of the tragic death of Private William Garrow Jr. I have spoken about Private Garrow in a previous podcast on attestation papers. While that podcast talked about this young man and his decision to join the Canadian Expeditionary Force, this podcast will talk about the battle in which he lost his life. Garrow was a young man, just 21 years old, when he enlisted to go overseas with the Canadian Expeditionary Force. He left behind the comforts of home, located at 245 Athol Street East. He left behind his parents and sisters. He left his job as an upholsterer to bravely face, arguably, the most horrific war mankind has ever been a part of. After enlisting in August of 1915, Garrow arrived overseas at Shorncliffe by November 1915. He was called up to the front lines to act as a replacement with the Princess Patricia's Light Infantry in December of 1915. It was with the Princess Pats that he was part of the Battle of Mount Sorrel. At this time, the Canadian Corps held the last remaining high ground of the Ypres Salient, or fortification. This was a piece of land the Germans wanted in their position, and so... On the morning of June 2, 1916, they began a devastating bombardment that saw the loss of hundreds of Canadian lives. Private William Garrow, Jr. was one of those lives lost. The Canadians fought back, but the area was lost to the Germans by June 4. The Germans attacked the Canadian lines to secure the last remaining high ground still in British hands. They also sought to divert Allied resources from the large offensive they knew was being prepared in the Somme region. The 3rd Canadian Division, which had been formed in December 1915, was the target of a crushing German bombardment on the morning of of June 2nd. The barrage devastated the forward Canadian position and killed hundreds, including the division commander, Major General Malcolm Mercer. German infantry then swept forward, capturing Canadian positions at Mount Sorrel and on the two surrounding hills. A hastily organized counterattack on June 3rd failed. Three days later, the Germans exploded four mines under the Canadian positions and captured the village of Hogue. The Battle of Mount Sorrel lasted for almost two weeks and cost the Canadians over 8,000 casualties. Having lost the first two phases of the battle, the Canadians achieved victory in the final operation. Sadly, Private William Garrow Jr. was one of those 8,000 who lost his life. Intellectually, we know that the First World War was the place of nightmares, but it is so easy to separate ourselves from that history because it was so long ago. By telling Garrow's story, by looking into what his life was like here in Oshawa before the war, and reading his letters to his sister during the war, suddenly the war no longer seems so long ago. Garrow's story makes bringing history closer to home when one realizes that the home this young man grew up in still stands and we can drive by it today. Focusing on individual stories, like that of Private Garrow, allows us to make a personal connection to long ago events, and this is where true understanding of these events occurs. For the month of June, Guy House will host a display on the life and death of Private William Garrow, Jr., Stop in to learn more about the impact of the Great War on this Oshawa family as it represents the impact of this war on so many thousands of families.